Okay, so I did my presentation on glycogen branching enzyme disease, <coughs> or deficiency, sorry. It's also known as GBED. Um, so what it is, is a disorder that causes muscle weakness in core horses and related breeds. It's lacking the glycogen and en branching enzyme, which is a protein that is necessary for building glycogen. Um, it's autosomal, non-sex cell recessive disease. Uh, it was first recognized by clinicians at the University of Minnesota. It's a fairly newer dis uh, deficiency that they found. Um, it's associated with late-term abortion or stillbirth in foals, and at least 3% of all abortions are from this disorder. Um, so I was interested in this because my horse is a, a part quarter horse. This is actually his dad, who's a registered quarter horse. So it, I was really interested to see if they had any um, genetic uh, co in, or like a carrier for it as well. Um, so symptoms in newborn foals, if they do, um, if they are born uh, or alive. Um, so they're too weak to stand. They have a low body temp. Uh, they require assistance to nurse either from the mother or they bottle feed. Um, they have high respiratory rate, uh, contracted tendons found in all four legs of the foal. Caesars and death. Um, so for treatment, there's no cure. Um, all cases of GBD have ended in death. That's either from abortion, still for stillbirth, being euthanized, or they died by 18 weeks of age. Um, when a bull is born, they can do a blood test in it, and usually if it shows um, a low white blood cell count, low glute, blood glucose, high muscle enzymes, CK and AST, and a high liver enzyme, GGT, they can usually diagnose it as GBED. Um, so looking at a, taking a closer look at the disease, at the defect, um, it's an abnormal sugar within the skeletal muscle of foals. So it's, uh, the glycogen provides energy for tissues in the body, so with this lacking, it's not getting any energy to these tissues. Um, the suggested mutation is present in about 10% of all quarter horses and related bloodlines. Uh, breeding carriers result in a 25% of bull getting uh, GBD. All affected foals have been uh, quarter horses or in American paint horses that they've had cases on. So these these were on like one of the articles I found. So this is like a heterozygous uh, cross with a heterozygous. So here's the 25% chance of the full getting GVED and then that's if both parents are carried yes and then if one is homozygous dominant so it has it doesn't have the recessive gene at all and it's crossed with um, a carrier it can't get GVED so it's just a basic Punnett square to put on there um, yeah and then talking about Punnett square you would never make one that it has an individual little g little g because they don't exist right right Yes. Um, yes. Uh, so prevention. So uh, they offer genetic tests available for horses. Um, you can get a test at UC Davis for forty dollars, and it's just a DNA, DNA sample they require. So either ten uh, mane or tail hairs, um, and then they do a PCR on it. Um, for the foals that do have the defect and are born, they can take <coughs> muscle biopsies um, and send that to Minnesota for $95. And this helps with their diagnosis diagnosis in the lab and working on a hopeful cure. Um, now on those hairs, do they have to? It has to be from the root. Yeah, you gotta pluck them out, you can't cut them. You know? Right. You're not talking about cutting them and sending the cut part. Of them. Right, um, so they find that the foals have different uh, characteristics of staining patterns. So this purple image over here is a normal um, staining of a muscle tissue. And then this one here is one with GBED, so you can see like a large difference in mm. them. That's um, dramatic. I mean, yeah. it's kind of like, there's no way to fail. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, and then those are my references. Mm -hmm. Questions? Well, questions, comments? I mean, I like how you did the Punnett squares in there because you know if you do have 
two carriers, you're going to get 25%. You'd never have a homozygous recessive because you say they all die sooner yeah, or later. Yeah, there has been no success. Nobody's so. living. Yeah. I'll let you point out. Are there out. any regulations on breeding a known carrier? Yeah, so with the prevention, if you want to, like if you have a breeding pair, you can set, get that tested first and to see how much of a possibility there is. Um, there's no like laws yet that I know of, like regulations in that way, but it's like, I mean, it's economically safer to do it this mm -hmm. way. Now, will they come back and tell you um, if the horse is big G, big G, or big G, little G? Do they do that? I mean, on the test? I don't know. I didn't see what they actually send you. I yeah. just saw like what you can like send out and how much yeah. it's They for. must be able to tell you because if you, if you're uh, big G, big G, there's no problem. But if you're big G, little G, you gotta watch out yeah. who that gets spread to. Exactly. So yeah. they must be able to do well, that. Well, they, they would have, because if you test positive for it, then you have to be a carrier because you can't be homozygous for it. No, but you can be homozygous uh, dominant. Not if you test positive for it. Oh, positive for the disease. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'm not sure if they, if the test looks for a little G, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Probably well, they would, that'd be the only way they could right. do it. Right. If you have any copy of the little G, maybe that's what they look for. And then if you do, you know your heterozygous, right? The animal? Yeah. Yeah. Do um, heterozygous experience like any of the symptoms that mm -hmm. come with this? Is there any like degree I, or is it just like an all or nothing? I think it's an all or nothing mm -hmm. because they don't make it past being like a full if they have the disease. So these guys. But, like <laughs> carriers don't show any of the. Not that I saw. It's mm -hmm. just like it's like a silent gene, basically, on them. Mm -hmm. That's a good question, though. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.